The Navy officer in charge of the U.S. 7th Fleet was relieved of his duties overnight after the latest deadly collision involving a destroyer. The removal of Vice Admiral Joseph Acoyne follows a string of incidents involving U.S. warships. The USS John S. McCain collided Monday with a commercial tanker, the second deadly accident in three months for the fleet. Ten sailors are thought to have died in this mishap. Ben Tracy is in Beijing and is following the Navy shakeup. Ben, good morning. Good morning. It has been an absolutely horrible summer for the U.S. 7th Fleet, which is based in Japan. They have likely lost 17 of their sailors. Two of their warships are extensively damaged, and now the commander of the entire fleet has lost his job. The damage was significant. Uh, this was not a small collision. Just two months ago, Vice Admiral Joseph Alcoin promised a sweeping investigation following the USS Fitzgerald's deadly collision with a merchant ship off the coast of Japan. But after the USS John S. McCain crashed earlier this week, the Navy decided to remove Alcoin from his post as head of the 7th Fleet. The McCain's collision was the latest of four incidents involving his ships in just the past eight months. Vice Admiral Alcoin has led the 7th Fleet since September 2015 and was set to retire next month. The divers were able to locate some remains in those sealed compartments. In a press conference yesterday, Pacific Fleet Commander Admiral Scott Swift said the Navy is looking at all possible causes for the collision between the McCain and an oil tanker Monday near Singapore, including a cyber attack on the ship's controls. He promised to get to the root cause of these incidents in the Pacific. One tragedy like this is one too many. And while each of these four events is unique, they cannot be viewed in isolation. The Navy has not released the names of the McCain's missing sailors, but at least three of them have been identified by family members. The families of Logan Palmer and Kenneth Smith thank those expressing concern for their missing sons. And Megan Partlow said of her missing fiance, Jacob Drake, I am slowly losing hope, and it hurts to know I might never get to walk down the aisle to see the love of my life. The Navy is now expanding the search area in the hopes of finding some of these 10 missing sailors still alive. Meanwhile, the Pacific Fleet is going to conduct what they're calling a deliberate reset of all of their ships. Basically, they're going to bring in experts who will assess and train all of the crews. Gail? Boy, that's a tough story. Thank you very much, Ben Tracy, reporting from Beijing.